News. Now, the Public Accounts Committee of the National Assembly has raised a red flag of an alleged ongoing corruption scandal in the fertilizer subsidy program just one month after the project was flagged off by President William Ruto. And the committee has written to the Auditor General to conduct a forensic audit with a view of getting to the bottom of the matter and report within 30 days. Katie and Zimanul Tour with more on this. Barely a month after the government started rolling out the fertilizer subsidy program, which seeks to reduce the cost of living in the long run, the Public Accounts Committee of the National Assembly is already smelling a rat in the multi-billion project. <laughs> The Public Accounts Committee now sounding an alarm that the project had been taken over by corrupt individuals who are fleecing the country dry through the project. That there are there is a possibility of embezzlement, there is a possibility of fraudulent activities uh, t having taken place in the process of acquisition or procurement of the same. There is even chance there are chances that probably there is money laundering that there could be illicit money transfers. The amounts, been, the amounts involved are huge. We are talking about 15 billion. And this is just what we are reading in the newspaper. This is just one farm. And we know fertilizer is a key input towards agricultural production in this country. So if this matter is not arrested now, and we know this will be happening uh, maybe this year, next year, you know, subsidizing uh, production, then probably we are going to have bigger or more major scandals. The committee now wants the Auditor General Nancy Gadungu to conduct a forensic audit of the process. We are asking the Office of the Auditor General, Nancy Gadungu, to ensure that proper audit is conducted, forensic audit is conducted, and report given to Public Accounts Committee within 30 days. We are going to conduct public hearing on this matter, starting with the Ministry of Agriculture, which received the funds, whether they made transfers to other state agencies, like Kenya National Trading Corporation. The committee says it has found the smoking gun and wants the culprits to be brought to book. There can't be smoke where there is no fire. So we, we hope the auditor will do a good job. This comes as the National Cereals and Produce Board said it was on course to distribute the subsidized fertilizer. We have uh, distributed in excess of 1.7 uh, uh, million bags of subsidized fertilizer for both planting and operating fertilizer in, uh, in uh, 28 counties across the country. And the program is running well. Thank God we have rains and we are looking forward to a bamba harvest. President William Ruto's administration removed subsidies on consumption and opted to subsidize on production to bring down the runaway cost of living. The government through the Minister of Agriculture had announced it will avail 3.5 billion shillings as a subsidy to caution farmers against the current high cost of fertilizer. The plan targets to reduce the price of fertilizer from 6,500 per 50 kilogram bag to 3,500. Emmanuel Toll, KT News, Nairobi. Now, independent power producers say Kenya Power and Lightning Company 